Hey, thanks for joining me today on What's Cooking Black Girl. When a man says, who are you talking to? Who are you talking to? Say, I'm talking to you. Thank you for joining me today. And on today's episode of What's Cooking Black Girls, well, what's cooking this black girl is my timeline turn up, okay? Better known as timeline fiasco, where we talk about posts from my timeline, from my friends that post off my friends list, and things that I believe will help us gather information on how we see each other and how we communicate with each other. So, um, a post that I want to talk about was um, posted by a very influential gentleman. Um, he's done movies, he's done documentaries, he's done a whole bunch of things, and his resume is as long as my arm. So he has a lot of credibility. He posted, ladies, when a man asks you who you getting loud with or who you yelling at, who are you talking to? And you say, I'm talking to you. You know when your voice get a little loud, octane is like a little high because you're upset. Um, okay, I think every woman has experienced this or, you know, every person has experienced this at some point in their life. Maybe when they were children and they got a little loud with their parents or whatever. Um, here's what I believe. Or here's my thoughts on it. I'm going to wait on both sides. Um, first of all, if you're speaking to somebody and they're getting loud with you and you ask them who you getting loud with or who you, no, no, who you talking to, clearly they're talking to you. It's just you and them having a conversation or argument. Yes, they're talking to you. So asking them that question is just a little weird, even though I know that's like a natural reaction for everyone, because how are they supposed to respond? Um, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the guy behind you. Like, <laughs> They're gonna say, I'm talking to you. And then that's just gonna make you even more infuriated by them. So then what? It just like perpetuates this argument to just keep building up and just until it freaking shoots out like a pressure cooker. You know, the steam is gonna rise up to the top. So, and on the other flip side of the coin, a woman raising her voice at a man is very unladylike in public, okay? Whatever happens behind closed doors, I don't know. That's just up to you and his relationship. But if it's in public, I think it's really inappropriate. Um, for a few reasons. One, when you're in public, it's really polite to respect other people's space. Other people who have to share the public space with you. Because it's not just about you in this public space. It's about everyone feeling comfortable being in a public setting. You know, so you have to be very conscious about other people's time out and just their sanity. You know, so you want to be polite in, uh, in just, um being in the circumference of strangers you know what i'm saying you want to be alert too that's another thing i don't you know i'm always alert when i'm out in public anyway and my partner also should be on top of his a game in that way as well so i don't have time to be arguing loud and carrying on to bring all this attention to us just because i'm upset with you no we can talk about it when we get in a car or at home so that's my perspective on the whole thing when it comes to male and female dynamic i don't believe it's appropriate for women to emasculate a man because it just takes away from our femininity because at that point we're being very masculine and if it if, if that wasn't the dynamics of your relationship from day one I don't think it's healthy to incorporate it in along the way later on in a relationship because it's gonna strain it because a man doesn't want to be with the woman who's gonna challenge his I don't, I don't want to say authority because that's such a harsh word or maybe not so PC but she's gonna challenge his leadership his manhood you know his very essence of being um, you should be an adult or you should be adult enough to know how to articulate yourself without having to be angry and aggressive especially as a woman you know when you're in your 20s it's like people kind of expect women to act all crazy and be really belligerent in their response or just really drama up and over dramatic about things that they say not because it's okay but it's kind of um it's kind of expected because women i guess in their 20s can get away with a little extra foolishness um not because it's appropriate but because it's almost like you don't you haven't lived enough and you don't know better but that's not a good look either so if you're in your 30s plus or late 20s it's about time to up your vocabulary so that you don't have to be belligerent or loud or disrespectful to the person that you're um, expressing your feelings to because if you don't know how to express yourself in a calm relaxed manner then you're really still very immature and you probably shouldn't be in a committed relationship at that time or yeah because um, a healthy relationship is when people can disagree in a civil way so it's not justified that you're in your 20s and it's okay for you to be disrespectful to someone because it's just going to make it's just going to amplify the 
the problems in the relationship or at that time and no one wants to be in a relationship that is all this tension and contention and just all this arguing for the simplest things like you can't just disagree politely it's just like world war you know one two and three all mixed up together just because they don't like something that you like or they disagree with something you disagree it's okay to be agreeable even if you're wrong I mean I think that's very adult you know just for the sake of argument I don't need to be right all the time I don't I, why I just want to be you know, I just want to be respected. I want to be in a productive relationship, even if it's not a romantic one. I just want to be around productive, respectful, courteous people. That's not too much to ask. But if you're not exuding that, or at least apologizing very quickly after coming out of your character, um, then it's not really going to amplify the greatness in your life. So I would say the call to action would be when you're upset, I would say count to 10 backwards. I've seen like my aunt has done this. I've seen her do it before. <clears throat> Say 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And then exhale after. And just relax and calm down because being upset doesn't justify the problem taking full control over the whole evening or the whole night. You know, be upset for a couple minutes and then be okay again. I think that's very attractive. People want someone who can just brush things off their shoulder after expressing themselves. If you can't do that, that means you live for that tension, you live for that aggression. So that is some deep-seated issues that you probably should um, <laughs> you probably should seek professional help about that. So uh, other people don't have to be the uh, on the receiving end of your inability to be respectful or healthy in expressing your frustration I hope that came out well so for the man I can't speak for men I just can speak for my relationships with men um, in my family men that I'm friends with men that I've been in relationships with um, nobody wants to be yelled at and especially not a good feeling um, for an adult to be yelled at and ridiculed by another adult so I don't see where it would be justified for a woman to you know, be disrespectful or loud or belligerent and, you know, mean in public to their significant other or even a man. It's like, if you don't respect me enough to be kind to me in public, my God, what the hell are we doing here? Like, what is the point? You know, you're supposed to be courteous to one another in public. You're supposed to be that couple that everyone's like, oh, they've been together forever. They are so... You know, like when you see old people together, they're just, they can like mimic each other's next move or, you know, they can just move, they just, it's just synchronicity. And that's what I think we're lacking in relationships today. So find synchronicity with your mate. That is my call to action. And if they're doing something or saying something that you don't like and you're in public, just hold your tongue and wait till you get in, I would say, wait till you get at home. It's just safer to be home on still ground and then, you know, express yourself in that way. And the more respectful you are to your mate, the more they're going to be respectful to you because no one wants to be that person in the relationship that obviously wasn't supposed to be in a healthy relationship to begin with. So that is my two cents for my timeline fiasco today. I hope you enjoyed it and you got something out of it. This channel, as I always say, is all about self-development. So I definitely have a lot of learning and progression to do with myself and presenting myself and articulating myself. I just hope I'm concise enough on this channel so you can get some piece of goodness, black excellence to take back with you. Comment in the comment section if this has happened to you and one of your partner has, you know, came shot out the face or, you know, to you, be it in public or not. And how did it make you feel, um, you know, seeing them being overly erratic about something that maybe was just so minuscule? I know it's not a good feeling, but we should definitely be able to help each other and heal each other in productive ways with just dialogue. So I'm here for it. And I will see you next time because I can guarantee you there's going to be some other fiascos on my timeline, drama filled, and I will bring it, report it right back here to you. So I'll see you next time. Have a great one. Peace.